Founded and owned by United States Marine Corps veterans, Tracer Tactical builds equipment designed from real-world experience out of Nampa, Idaho. The EMBAV plate carrier modernizes the legendary MBAV form factor with updated modularity, materials, and cross-platform compatibility. It blends protection, mobility, and comfort for users who demand a mission-flexible system that adapts to both overt and low-visibility operations. In this technical overview, we'll analyze the EMBAV's design, thermoregulation, and integration performance against today's leading carriers. We'll ask, does the EMBAV strike the ideal balance between tradition and modern modularity? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. For newcomers to this series, our videos are not standard reviews. We've developed them to answer frequent customer questions about integrating our Ice Age ecosystems thermal regulation and hydration tools with plate carriers available today. Our approach is strictly empirical, objective, quantifiable data supported by instruments and documentation whenever possible. We don't share conjectures or opinions, only reliable facts. Our goal is to empower you with the information necessary to make informed decisions and reach your highest potential. That's what building a superhuman future is all about. Now let's cover relationship discussion. Disclosures. We have a friendly relationship with Tracer Tactical, who provided this EMBAV featured in this video for testing and integration. That said, this overview, like all videos in our Insight series, is strictly objective and data-driven. Now let's find out how seamlessly the Tracer Tactical EMBAV integrates with our suite of thermoregulation tools, the Ice Age ecosystem. Because the EMBAV lacks internal Velcro loop fields, you'll need our Catamaran Gen 3 to integrate our Ice Fence Pontoons and Ice Plate Gen 3 via IMS Pro Gen 3. Ice Flask Wing Holster integrates seamlessly with the hook and loop cummerbund attachment points on the front plate bag of the EMBAV. An Ice Flask Molly Holster can be secured to the Molly cummerbund. Ice Fence Arrow and Classic Shoulder Pads attach seamlessly to the shoulder straps of the EMBAV. Few things impact human performance more than weight. Ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. So let's find out how much the EMBAV weighs when dry. With just the plate bags and cummerbund, the EMBAV tips the scales at 1.35 pounds or 21.6 ounces when dry. Does wet weight matter more than dry weight? It depends on your mission. A carrier's ability to shed water weight quickly can dramatically impact operator performance. So let's find out how much the EMBAV weighs when it's wet. Our experimental design for this test is simple and the same across all of our wet weight tests. We submerged the EMBAV for 60 minutes, hung it to dry for 60 seconds, and weighed it. The post-soak weight came out to 2.1 pounds or 33.6 ounces. Now let's take a look at what materials the EMBAV is constructed from. The EMBAV's key materials include laser-cut laminate, tweeve, nylon, and hook and loop interfaces. So what is thermal transmittance and why does it matter for plate carriers? Thermal transmittance refers to the rate at which heat moves through a material. In the context of plate carriers, it specifically pertains to the body facing side of the plate carrier plate bag. When a material, such as a wall or plate bag, is well insulated, it has low thermal transmittance, making it effective at protecting against external temperature changes, ideal for homes, vehicles, or cold weather gear. Conversely, poorly insulated materials have a high thermal transmittance, which is beneficial for active or athletic apparel like running gear, combat uniforms, or plate carriers. High thermal transmittance allows the body to release excess heat generated during intense physical activity. Given that tactical gear inherently provides some level of insulation, it's crucial to choose equipment, particularly plate carriers and body armor, with the highest possible thermal transmittance. Essentially, you need gear with minimal insulation to enable your body's natural cooling processes to function optimally, helping you manage body temperature independently of your gear. This is critical to prevent heat-related issues, ensuring you remain effective and increasing your survival chances in the field. Some plate carriers, such as our Iceplate Exo Gen 3, augment and enhance your body's natural thermal regulation mechanisms, boosting your performance. For carriers lacking this feature, you can integrate items from our Ice Age ecosystem, like the IMS Pro Gen 3 Combo, Ice Flask, Ice Fence, and Catamaran Gen 3 to improve their thermal efficiency. For a detailed understanding of heat transfer methods and their relevance to your gear, 
Check out the infographics in our Insights blog article titled The Methods of Heat Transfer, linked in the show notes below. Here's our test protocol. Record a FLIR surface temperature of the inside of the carrier at room temperature. Insert a frozen ice plate Gen 3. Place a hard armor plate on top for 30 seconds. Remove the hard armor plate and record the temperature again. The EM BAV recorded a baseline surface temperature of 61 degrees Fahrenheit and an ice plate inside temperature of 54 degrees Fahrenheit, resulting in a thermal shift of just 7 degrees Fahrenheit. What do these numbers mean? In this chart, we've ranked the plate carriers we have tested from highest to lowest thermal shift. The plate carriers marked in red have low thermal shift readings, meaning they will trap and retain more heat, making you hotter. The smaller the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. The plate carriers marked in blue have a higher thermal shift, which means they are better at removing heat to let your body's thermal regulation mechanisms work as naturally as possible. The larger the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the higher the thermal transmittance of that plate carrier. These tables show how the Tracer Tactical EM BAV compares to other plate carriers we've tested. Now let's take a closer look at what makes the EM BAV unique. The EM BAV features dual internal armor pockets on both the front and rear plate bags to allow ballistic plates to be paired with soft armor inserts. It also features shoulder straps that are designed to integrate with the Axle Advanced Adaptive Vest Placard, allowing rapid conversion from low profile to overt use and more accessory mounting options. Now let's move on to what attachment mechanisms the EM BAV has to offer. The EM BAV features external loop fields, molly fields on the rear plate bag and cover run for pouch and accessory mounting and split bar buckles or G-hook attachment points for placards. From colorways to sizing, let's discuss the EM BAV's variety. The EM BAV is available in Multicam, Coyote, Ranger Green, Black, and M81 Woodland, and small through extra large sizes. The EM BAV's hook and loop shoulder straps provide micro adjustability for a precise fit. The stretch cover run provides a secure, adaptable fit for a wide range of users. And these charts on screen show what hard and soft armor sizes will fit in the EM BAV. Country of origin is a critical consideration when selecting a plate carrier. Country of origin is a dependable but not absolute indicator of innovation, quality, and craftsmanship. So where does the Tracer Tactical EM BAV come from? The Tracer Tactical EM BAV is made in the USA from Barry compliant materials. Price should never be the deciding factor when selecting life-preserving equipment. Quality is worth every dollar. So let's find out how much the Tracer Tactical EM BAV will run you. As of the filming of this video, the EM BAV system, including plate bags and car run, starts at $449.95. If you select the JTAC option, which includes two radio pouches and side armor pouches, the price jumps to $649.95. That's the full technical breakdown of the Tracer Tactical EM BAV. We hope this overview helped you understand its materials, modularity, and mission flexibility. Do you run the EM BAV? Share your setup, feedback, and experience in the comments. We read them all. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram at Core Performance, and sign up for Launchpad emails for early access to upcoming product integrations and technical breakdowns. And don't miss Best Plate Carriers 2026, our annual roundup comparing every carrier we've tested ranked side-by-side -side with real data. Until next time, stay frosty.